This short video will show you how to configure IP pass-through on a router running digi-accelerated Linux, such as an EX, IX, or one of the older 6300 or 6310 routers running current firmware. IP pass-through is a common requirement where the digi router needs to be transparent to the connected LAN device, such as a camera, network video recorder, a PLC, or even another router. IP pass-through allows direct access to the connected LAN device and make it appear like that device owns the public IP address rather than the Digi router in front of it. The interface shown here is Digi Remote Manager. The first thing to do is to update to the most recent firmware version. In this demo I'm using an iX20 and have already updated the firmware to 20.11. 32168. To configure pass through, click on Devices on the left and then click on the device on the right. Click Settings, Config, Network. Then on the right hand side, go into Interfaces and into the LAN interface. If you are unsure which is the LAN interface and which is the WAN interface, Expand both Ethernet 1 and Ethernet 2. Take a look at the firewall zones. You will see that the Ethernet LAN interface is set to internal and the Ethernet 1 interface is set to external. Click on the drop down list next to interface type for the Ethernet LAN interface. Set it to IP pass through. Expand the pass through section. And then Source Interfaces, click on the plus. Then select the WAN or outside interface that will be passing its assigned IP address and all of its inbound IP traffic to the connected LAN device. In most cases, this will be modem. Expand the ancillary section and configure the ancillary addressing. This is the IP address information that is assigned to the LAN device when the WAN interface is down. Set the address to 10.0.0.2/24 and the gateway to 10.0.0.1. Leave everything else as default and apply the changes. For more information on this or any other feature of your device or Digi Remote Manager, Please see the documentation pages at digi.com/support.